Back on August 8, 2023, Toyota lodged a Landhopper trademark with the Japanese Patent and Trademark Office. And word on the street is that the legendary Japanese car maker is about to release an all-new, bona fide baby off-roader. Here's what we know so far about the new Toyota Landhopper. Currently, there's not much detailed information on the Landhopper. It could be a new version of an existing model, a different trim, or something totally new. The trademark Toyota applied for is under Class 12, which covers a broad spectrum of machinery and components including power mechanisms for terrestrial vehicles, transmission systems, braking technologies, both AC and DC motors, and tire vehicles, and their individual parts. Intriguingly, this classification even extends to components and accessories for motorcycles and bicycles. So the Landhopper could be anything, but here's why we think it's a brand new baby SUV. Just a few days prior to filing the trademark, Toyota lifted the curtains on their new 250 series Land Cruiser. It was an exciting reveal in itself, signaling the long-awaited return of this iconic model to the U.S. market. Closer to the end of this announcement, Toyota hinted at a compact off-roader with an enigmatic shadowy image. This teaser, combined with their intention to extend the much-loved Land Cruiser range, has ignited discussions about a possible new variant of the Land Cruiser, potentially sitting below the 250 series in the lineup. It's worth mentioning that Toyota might use the Landhopper name just in specific places like Japan. In other parts of the world, they might go with a different name. For instance, in North America, they could bring back the popular FJ Cruiser name, or maybe choose something more obvious, like Compact Cruiser. Anyhow, given the Hopper moniker, we can assume it will be a smaller SUV than the renowned Land Cruiser. Another possibility is that it's a trim level for the Land Cruiser itself. If so, this could be a playful off-road centric variant with a simpler, tougher look inside and out. What catches the eye is the speculated price point for this compact adventurer. Rumors suggest a starting price of below $27,000. A Japanese magazine states that the base price will be somewhere between 3 million and 3.8 million yen. In today's currency, that translates to $20,100 to $25,500 in the home market. Additionally, the Japanese news outlets anticipate it will share similar dimensions with the Corolla Cross. Given its price and size, the Landhopper could go wheel-to-wheel -wheel with compact adventurers like the Bronco Sport or the Jeep Renegade. But while many deem vehicles like the Bronco Sport to be, quote, soft rotors, the Landhopper, given its Toyota badge, might pack the serious off-road capabilities typical of the Land Cruiser brand. This would place it in direct contention with genuine compact off-road champions, such as the Suzuki Jimny. Drawing parallels with how the Bronco Sport takes its engine options from the more mainstream Escape, there's speculation that the Landhopper might adopt the Corolla Cross's gasoline and hybrid engines. The 2.0-liter M20A FXS four-cylinder with hybrid capabilities seems like a fitting candidate, delivering a punchy 196 horsepower. Even more exciting is the prospect of using Prius Prime's efficient yet feisty 220 horsepower plug-in hybrid powertrain. By doing so, Toyota would would set the bar high for any competitor eyeing the niche of off-road-centric compact vehicles. The Landhopper is also rumored to receive the RAV4 Hybrid's 2.5-liter setup, resulting in 219 horsepower and 252 pound-feet of torque, which would be more than enough for a compact SUV. Other news outlets speak about a 1.8-liter turbo. While many anticipate the standard powertrain to feature a mechanical 4x4 setup, the hybrid version might adopt Toyota's electric rear axle approach. The chatter on the market also hints at a potential EV variant in the future. But this raises a question. Would Toyota invest in a distinct electric powertrain for what's projected to be their most budget-friendly Land Cruiser? However, considering the 250 series might see an EV iteration in its future and the foundational compact cruiser concept was electric, the idea isn't entirely off the table. It appears the curtains will be lifted on this SUV shortly. Predictions point to a grand reveal at the Japan Mobility Show, with a launch slated for the latter half of 2024. As for design, the possibilities are endless. When we consider where it might slot within Toyota's line of SUVs, the potentially new Landhopper needs to find its unique stance among heavyweights like the Sequoia and the Land Cruiser, not to mention others like the RAV4 and the Highlander. The name Landhopper itself gives away some hints. Land aligns with Toyota's legendary Land Cruiser, pointing to durability. Meanwhile, Hopper brings to mind the name Grasshopper, meaning quickness and smaller stature. This suggests the Landhopper might rival compact champs like the Suzuki 
Suzuki Jimny. It should be nimble and easy to maneuver in tight city spots, yet capable of family trips and rough terrains. Moreover, the Landhopper could establish itself as a sporty SUV, boasting a powerful engine and positioning itself as a rival to the Ford Bronco Sport. But what about a new Toyota electric compact SUV? Could the Landhopper go all electric? Well, Toyota is currently in the middle of a significant change, gearing up for perhaps one of the most transformative phases in its history. They've recently laid the groundwork for their forthcoming BZ series, a lineup comprising 15 all-electric vehicles slated for a global launch by 2025. Toyota describes this shift as an exciting new dawn. This raises the question, does the Landhopper sit anywhere within Toyota's ambitious future blueprint? Could it too embrace electrification entirely, or perhaps emerge as a compact, fuel-efficient off-roader with hybrid capabilities? So far, only Toyota can answer these questions. But let's get back to the Land Cruiser. The rumor mill suggests that the future 2025 Landhopper is nothing else than a Land Cruiser Mini. At the end of the 250 Series Land Cruiser launch event, Toyota's design chief, Simon Humphreys, stands between two vehicle silhouettes. In that picture, the potentially new Landhopper was bearing many design similarities to both the discontinued FJ Cruiser and the newly introduced Prado-based Land Cruiser 250. All these rumors are primarily based on Toyota's much-acclaimed compact cruiser concept. Many believed this concept hinted at the forthcoming design direction for Toyota's off-road SUVs. Indeed, when taking a look at the new Land Cruiser, you could see traces of the compact cruiser concept. As for the new Land Cruiser, we can't be more excited. Bringing back much-loved nameplates such as Bronco, Integra, or Supra is not something new in the automotive industry. And much like the others, Toyota doesn't want to let the Land Cruiser name fade into history. After discontinuing the iconic SUV in the US after the 2021 model year, the Japanese car manufacturer brought it back with a bang. For enthusiasts who are familiar with the Toyota language, the latest iteration of the Land Cruiser is dubbed the 250 Series. Though not as vast as the flagship 300 Series Lexus LX600, it's certainly an upgrade from the 200 Series Cruiser, which retired in 2021. Remarkably, all these variants share a wheelbase of 112.2 inches. Yet, when parked nose to tail, the new Land Cruiser is almost 7 inches shorter than the LX. When compared to its 200 Series predecessor, the new edition matches its 78-inch width, is marked marginally 0.8 inches shorter in height, and it's got 1.2 inches less in length. As for design, the 2024 Land Cruiser sports a more slender body, grille, and cabin, yet its noticeable fender flare gives it a muscular, wide stance. In terms of what lies under the hood, the 2024 Land Cruisers will be equipped with a 2.4-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder hybrid iForce Max powertrain paired with an 8-speed gearbox. This is the same setup that will be driving the upper versions of the Tacoma lineup, particularly the TRD Pro, while its horsepower at 326 is a notch below the 5.7-liter V8's 381, the torque has been ramped up, delivering a robust 465 pound-feet, it outmuscles the former model's 401 pound-feet, offering a significant boost for off-roading. Notably, this torque peaks at a low 1700 RPM, a stark contrast to the previous 3600 RPM. As for towing, the Land Cruiser comes with an integrated hitch as standard. However, its towing capacity has been dialed back from the earlier 8,100 pounds to 6,000 pounds, reflecting its more compact and efficient configuration. So, where does the new 2025 Landhopper fit in this new Land Cruiser lineup? Maybe somewhere right in the middle, offering Toyota's loyal customers a more playful and nimble off-roader that can take on Ford Bronco. Jeep Renegade, or even Suzuki Jimny every day of the week. These vehicles have carved a niche for themselves, appealing to a demographic that wants the spirit of an off-roader, but in a package that's easier to manage in urban environments. We expect the Landhopper to be a more city-friendly Land Cruiser variant, bridging the gap between a fully-fledged SUV and an urban crossover. Do you think Toyota can pull that off? 